So we have the pleasure to debut a new interactive experience with cooperation from Microsoft, which is working with us at NASA for new educational products. The next generation of learning experiences is actually arriving, bringing the challenge of landing curiosity to every living room that would like to play in this game. Families can get a taste of the daring that's involved in this, just landing this mission on the surface. It's going to be very similar to the way the team actually is going to do that. <laughs> in a way. <laughs> so I'd like to turn this over to Jeff Norris to explain this and describe it. Jeff? Thank you, Doug. So I'm very excited to announce a groundbreaking partnership between NASA, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and Microsoft to inspire the next generation of explorers and scientists and technologists. Mars Rover Landing is the agency's first experience for a home entertainment console. And through it, we're bringing some of the excitement and a few of the challenges of landing curiosity on Mars to living rooms around the world. As we're demonstrating live here today, people take control of their very own spacecraft using the Kinect and move their body to steer the rover through the stages of entry, descent, and landing. Right now, Danielle is playing the first phase of the game. She's doing her best to burn off some speed while staying on target and inside the entry corridor. In the next phase, she'll have to react quickly in order to deploy the parachute, separate the heat shield, and then release the descent stage at the perfect moment. It's not easy, but we think families are going to enjoy facing the challenges of landing on Mars firsthand. By the way, I'll mention that Danielle is the granddaughter of Apollo 14 astronaut Stuart Rusa, and quite literally, an example of the next generation of Explorer. We'll check back in just a moment to see how her landing is progressing. <clears throat> the Mars rover landing game is free and available now on Xbox Live Marketplace. We have demonstration systems set up here at NASA headquarters and at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory for you all to try it out firsthand. It's exciting, challenging, and a whole lot of fun. Doug mentioned many ways that people can watch Curiosity's landing and get involved with the mission. In our mutual commitment to inspiring the next generation in science and math, NASA and Microsoft will also soon unveil a special destination on the Xbox Live dashboard dedicated to the Curiosity mission. In it, people will find pictures, videos, and more facts about the mission. And then on August 5th, NASA TV's live coverage of Curiosity's landing will be broadcast there, too. Also, in, also coming soon is an educational experience based on Microsoft Kodu in which students can program their very own Mars rover and make some discoveries of their own. Let's check back in with Danielle. She's finishing up the second stage of the experience now. She's deployed the descent stage, and in the third phase, she's going to have to perform the sky crane maneuver and then carefully manage the retro rockets in order to bring Curiosity down for a safe landing. This is a tricky balancing act, and we didn't give her a lot of fuel, so let's give her a minute to concentrate and see if she can land successfully. We have rover separation. Again, ladies and gentlemen, come with us, experience the Mars exploration, activity, and adventure. 